Hi everybody. I just wanted to run another little short reading by you. I have to go away for a few days so I won't be able to get back straight after the State of the Union. I'll try and catch Stacy, of course. Um, so I just wanted to have another look at that and I wanted to look at a couple of aspects. One, I wanted to see the public reaction to it. I think most people would be avoiding it. Let's hope there's a Twitter campaign in the next 24 hours. No one to watch the Yeti. And then everyone turn on their devices to watch Stacey. Wouldn't that be great? That would be my preferred outcome. So I just want to have a look at the public reaction. Um, because there's talk he may be trying to steer away from the blood and guts and the barbarians at the gate and try his hand at unity. It's almost more cringeworthy and vomit-inducing than him being himself, isn't it? Um, it's a ghastly thing to contemplate. Hmm. So, public reaction to it first, then will this propel the GOP to do anything about him? Okay, let's have a look. Public reaction. I'm using the Japaridze deck. Ah! Fiddling while Rome burns. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Um, okay, let's go. Always seeking the spotlight, right? He's happiest in the spotlight. Um, but oblivious to everything else and everyone else, just oblivious. He's so in the moment, in the now. Yes, that's him. And people's impressions will be that, that he's making himself a bit much of the focus, a bit much of the star, and people are a bit over it. And the reason I say that is... He's got the Hermit card. He's actually spending less and less time in the public eye. It's just that if he's in the public eye for three minutes, that's four minutes too long. You know, so he's starting to retreat. I remember saying in a reading months ago, we're going to see less of him, but he's still going to keep the barrage up because that's why he takes the... Um, the happy aggressive pills so he can keep up the attacks on Twitter and so forth. But he's been less seen, so now he's going to put his best foot forward for this performance. Illusion, delusion. I would suggest two interpretations for this. There will be some of the 25% who think he's an all right guy who's misunderstood, and they will continue to support because they themselves are deluded by his... They don't believe that he's a criminal, when in fact he's had 40 years of unbroken criminal activity. This is not new. It didn't start when he became president, but they won't hear it, will they? And then I think the other interpretation, and perhaps at the same time, is the other 75% of Americans who do think and care and worry about the country and are feeling this, they can see that he's outright deluded. So I think the delusion falls in two camps. So then he gets the Eight of Winds, which is, looking at this card, the Eight of Swords. So... Again, I'm getting this duality in this reading. It might be the different cards or it could just be what's in the air. But what I'm getting here, this could be the people of America feeling held hostage and held prisoner by him, but not to worry because the key's in the door. Or this could be Trump feeling like the prisoner because... He knows, as a showman, if nothing else, the shutdown didn't work for him. 
he has to make a go of this stupid speech. He's going to try something different and it probably won't work. So this, it's in the outcome position, could be him feeling, I should have gone with the blood and guts of Stephen Miller. Why did I change anything? I think he is going to try and pretend to be nice and it's not going to work. People are not fooled. Okay. Now, my next question is, will this prompt the GOP to do something more permanent about this man who is single-handedly dragging the country down through the mire. He is now overseeing a very volatile stock market. He doesn't understand the economy, but he's allowed to wade in and do all these stupid 1930s economic measures. No one's happy. I think that's a distinction, isn't it? He actually, apart from the MAGA hat wearing people who are about to see, you know, their Medicaid disappear out the door, their schools close, etc., etc. What can you say or do, you know? But I think we have to be kind in the sense they'll come to live it. Whether they'll admit they were wrong or not is another story. Okay, so where was I? Will the GOP actually act? 25th Amendment, I'm going to put the 25th in there. The 25th. Is it under consideration and will they use it? Now, as I understand it, that requires the Vice President... <laughs> That requires the Vice President, that animated, scintillating person that would be Mike Pence. He has to, I think, be the initial one who calls the 25th and then two thirds of the Senate, is it? Correct me if I'm wrong, have to go ahead with it. He, of course, has been waiting and waiting for this moment. So all of this, everything that happens from now on, depends on Pence either stepping into it or if Pence goes, of course, then Nancy steps up. So we'll see. I don't know that Mueller is necessarily going to indict Pence. He could be in it up to his ghoulies or it could be like a bridge too far and whatever, he might get away with things for a while. We need to update our readings on pens. Okay, but now, the GOP, the 25th, what is going on? Yes, they've floated the balloon and they know they're in trouble if they don't do something. Okay, so... Three of fire here. Yeah, literally, the idea, the balloon of the idea has been floated. You could also have a little cheap joke there and say that Trump's full of hot air. Um, both would be true. But it's being sent up as a balloon a thought idea more and more often. It's not, What I'm saying is that it's not a purely outlier position anymore. The Ace of Winds or the Ace of Swords... The, but they know they have to come up with something new. And they are in a bit of a dilemma because they partly want to hold on to him for continuity while they wrestle with the new Congress. And the other part of them wants to find someone new so they can reinvent themselves for the election. So I think it's that sort of duality going on. Then they get... The Page of Pentacles. So I think there might be a divergence, this is about the GOP, between younger and older Republicans. I'm not sure just in this very quick reading which camp they are in, but I think there's an age thing going on here. And it might be 
um, that there's a discussion, and there's let's we can't ignore the clown like face here. They know the clown is in the big chair. Here we go. Here we go. The skeletons fighting. They know they've got to get their act together. They know that he actually has to go. But I'm not convinced. I'll just see if I can get some sort of timeline. I'm not convinced it's going to be really quickly. I think he's going to be around for a little while yet, viewers. You know. Uh, okay, let's see. Timing. Will it be in the next month? Not sure. Will it be the next month? Uh, okay, Knight of Swords. This is a card of revenge and envy and a lot of those negative emotions. It's We've got to remember too, Trump is reaping what he sowed. He actually offended a lot of Republicans when he was up against them in the primary he was vulgar, he was rude, he was unnecessarily vicious, he was unremittingly awful. And they've remembered, he has made a shitload of enemies in his own party. So they are getting the upper hand, but I'm not getting an actual indication of time here. So I'm just going to do a clarifier on the Stranger of Winds. See if we can get any more information out of this. Will they use the 25th? Oh, yes. The enemy. Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger. They're starting... I think to actually war about this. They're very good at hiding their fights, but I think they're they're actually at war with each other. I do think from the overall tone, the ones who want to evict Trump are winning. I just don't feel they're there yet, viewers. I don't think it's going to happen in the next month. No one would be happier than me to be wrong. I think he's there for a little while yet. I really do. Um, they might try the medical card. He's got a new doctor. This guy's apparently as bent as the last one. So he's got two doctors who should be struck off the medical register. So he's probably got a day and night one. Will they try the medical card? Let me just ask that. Will they try the medical angle? As opposed to purely mental health, health and unfitness. Will they try that? Hmm. Delay and leaving. It's retard. Uh, yeah, people are sick of it. This is Republicans. And someone's being left to pick up the pieces. Mm hmm. The others are winging it, literally. They're leaving, and just a few people, or even one person, is, is being left to pick up the pieces and make some of these big decisions. Okay, guys, got to go, but I'll be thinking of you. So thumbs up, please comment. I'll be still getting to comments. I will still be following what's going on. But as soon as I humanly can, I'll be uploading. So bye for now. Bye.